From Chicago, Illinois, home of Led Zeppelin. Not really, but it, lots of places are chock full of Led Zeppelin. But here we are. The other week, right? The other, not that long ago, I made the video about this. Remember? And then I made this video. Except where I think I might have showed also how to alternate the hands. Well, I definitely did because that's part of the bottom mojo and a lot of those little things he does. But this one is another permutation. And all these things are common. I mean, drummers have done them for a long time. Just that Bonham sort of popularized it because he played it in a certain way in his vocabulary. I know this chord. Gosh darn it. People have been saying, get rid of that chord. No, I'm getting rid of it. Because you know, I just, it's in my peripheral vision, but I don't realize that it's showing up in the picture. Now this one is this. So I'm going to, I'll do it again. So let's, so what I'm doing is I'm going left, right, foot. Right, left, foot. Left, right, foot. Right, left. Foot. And indeed, when you first learn stuff like that, like this, it's very important to practice it slow because if your brain isn't familiar with it yet, it's got to get into sort of like your kind of short-term memory first before it can sort of work its way into its long-term memory slash your permanent wiring synapses-y thingy that comes with doing something a lot and a lot and a lot. Okay? You have to just sit. So right now, a lot of you, a lot of us drummers in Bottom Town, even if you've been playing drums a long time, you might have to just get used to this. There's going to be times, don't get frustrated if you're like, wait, wait, hang on. If that happens, it's okay. In five minutes, you'll be doing it just fine. Just be patient with yourself. Left, right, foot. Right, left, foot. Okay? If you're on a right hand or a left hand drum set, just do the opposite, okay? But so here we are on a right handed drum set. Left, right, foot. Right, left, foot, left, right, foot, right, left, foot. Make it a song, yes, now. It's a song, and how. Whatever mechanism you got to do just to get it in your brain. And it might seem like you're, what happens with we drummers, again, I say this all the time, because it's true. So many of we drummers are ADD or have some sort of attention deficit, or are just freaks anyway. But you just, you think it's a waste of time somehow to sit and do something like this. It's not. It's like pulling teeth when you do it, but you'll be grateful you did, okay? So you sit down, left, right, foot, right, left, foot, left, right, foot, right, left. And after you go for a while, well, that's if you're just real fast. I don't put that bass room in, but... It's a perpetual motion machine, which we can use in the thing I do before, the engine, the John Bonham engine. Any pattern you can do that sort of keeps both limbs, all limbs, everything sort of flowing is good for you. Mentally, physically, your heart, your juices flowing through this. Your body is truly a machine. And this is good for it. This is like going out and starting the car every two weeks. If it's a collectible car, you want to keep the juices flowing. And that's the thing you got to remember, too, is how cool stuff sounds once you speed it up. But then there and you fall into a trap too because you want to get to that point real fast. Grasshopper. 
No, I mean, really, when you're first learning it, you can't. People so often, especially, and drums is a great example of it, or learning to juggle, or ride a unicycle. Like, you put in a few hours and a few hours, and you're still not getting You're like, well, just screw it, and you stop doing it. You got to just keep doing it. Don't have a butt rash. You don't want to be like, eh, and just sit and relax. You got to just sit and relax. Oh, by the way, see how high I'm sitting now? I fixed my seat and I cranked it about two inches higher than I think I do want it. Like, let me put it this way. It was here for a long time. And then briefly in yesterday's video, it shot down to here. But instead of putting it back to here, I wanted to put it here. But instead, I cranked it a little higher than that even, just to give my body just something different just to fart around with. So now I'm like Keith Moon height, kind of. But back to the beat, or the pattern. So for now, instead of thinking of like one and a two and a, remember there's different ways to think of like six notes. Uh, but I would say, I would just say to yourself, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Left, right, foot, right, left, foot, left, right, foot, right, left, foot. Slow motion. Left, right, foot, right, left, foot. Left, right, foot, right, left, foot. And it's really that easy. Because what'll happen is, again, when you're first learning it, it might be like, man, that's hard. Well, of course it's hard. You're you've never done it before. You know what I mean? I kind of can juggle now using like those little rags. Like if you use little rags that have little teeny weights in them, they don't move it. They, uh, friction slows them down, coming down a little. So it gives you a little more time. It's like cheating a little bit. But it's the same thing here. Just to, if you're taking your time, in a certain way if you think about it, it's like cheating. Like if somebody can sit and go, well if you're going, I can do it. Well if you're like on the playground in like kindergarten, somebody might say, well you're not doing it fast enough, so you're not doing it. You are. You're just getting there. You gotta lose that mentality of freakishness. So left, right, foot, right. I hate when drummers do that in videos. Um, but, so this is, it's a great exercise. Like at the end of rock and roll, remember live? Remember I said in the other video where he's like, uh, what I do that video maybe a month ago? I've always thought he might be doing, and he might. I mean, because I've never really had a chance to study the footage close up. I wish I could go back in time and just sit right in front of his bass drum like this. Instead of... He could be going... So that'd be... I'll work on that. I just never really thought to do that. Should have made the video later, but whatever. But you know the point I'm making. So see sort of the similarities. You're just adding in sort of another bass drum note. So instead of That's another one I'm gonna make too. But instead of, you're going, what the hell are you doing? Hang on, you're going, God, there's so many permutations that I gotta remember to make different videos about. Let's just steer clear of rock and roll live for now. You know the point I'm making. They sound similar. Let's just get past it and move on. So, but that's really it. So th this is a great one to practice. And remember, you just gotta even do just a little bit a day, man. You can even do it on your, on your, without a drum set and go. You can. 
okay? And another thing to remember too is watch the hands here. I'm gonna take the bass room out, watch. That's what the hands by themselves are doing. Which is, do you know that piano song? This is a great learning mechanism. You have to apply associative learning, things that are similar, things that might not appear to be similar, but actually are in sort of a weird parallel place. Okay. Well, that's an associated thing you can practice, which is leaving the bass drum out. And if you leave the bass drum out, most people will find that easier because they're just not getting the third lemon. Okay, that's without the bass drum. But back to it with the bass drum. Watch. That's the first part. Left, right, followed by right, left, left like I've said 10,000 times. Ad nauseum. Which is might how you might feel like that now after I've said this a thousand times, but. videos on the way, including drum covers, because I, I figured out a way to, uh, I'm getting a different cable, because something happened where I fried something over here, like I've said 17 times. Don't forget, if you want to buy one of my t-shirts, I'm going to get some black ones, in the not too distant future, but I have these, if you want to email me, at bonzolium at gmail.com, they're 15 bucks shipped. If you're in the lower 48 US, um, generally, if I ship them overseas, it's like the envelope's like 20, 23 bucks. So if, like for one shirt, I think I've been, what I've been, been quoting, like 35 bucks maybe, or well, after PayPal, there's fees involved. Plus two, it's kind of labor intensive to package these and send them out. Now I know people really don't do it. Um, but anyway, so bonzolium at gmail.com if you want to buy one of these babies. And in fact, I do have my CD. This is from a couple of years ago, but one of these songs was on the radio. If you want a CD, I'll ship you one for $5, okay? For $5, I'll ship you one of these. If we could work out a combo deal if you want to. But anyway, really, one of these songs was on the radio in Chicago. Number three, In My Heart. So, uh, more videos truly on the way very soon. Um, more covers, because there's a lot of Zeppelin stuff you can legally cover that from the companion discs. Okay, from like the reference mixes. So once I get my ax straight here and replace this cable, which is on the way, okay? Um, and thanks again to Wally Dellenbach for getting my six lug top and bottom amber shell, which I'm gonna get up very shortly. I'm gonna do a little drilling on my drums to get my rail console let up and stuff, but as soon as it warms up a little outside. More videos on the way, please subscribe if you haven't. Hit that red rectangle. Thanks.